It's so once again from Inslee Park. It's Hutchison Real versus the Bar United. Well, I wasn't going to come here tonight. There's a lot of games being cancelled, you see, I've got my strollers hat on. I was going to go with the Summer Service Strollers versus East Cobride. Due to the weather, the pitches in the rain has been terrible. So the night, there was another game called off. So I've come along to see Hutchison Real versus the Bar United, which will be a good game. Right. I think last time I spoke to you was at Brooksburn away and you won 3-0. That's right. Are that's we going right. to get that sort of performance again? Hopefully. Um, you know, it'll be a, it's a, a difficult game. Hutchie has, Hutchie has been great this season. Um, really good to watch. You know, young, dynamic, great movement. Um, and, and we're similar. Yeah. So, you know, I think it'll be a, a real close game. I think it'll be whoever defends best will, will, will win the game. Um, could end up being like a, a basketball game, it could be end to end. And you've got some games in hand, so you're hoping to uh, uh, get, get, get in a better position towards the end of the season. Well, that's it, you know, I think if we, if we win tonight, we'll, we'll potentially go, you know, four points or, or five points behind Hutchie with, with four games in hand. Yeah. So, you know, that's our aim. We, we want to be as high up the league as we can, yeah. um, and we're just we're trying to hang on to the coattails of the boys above us and, and chase them down. And you've got a, fight, a cup final coming up uh, against Inverkeith and uh, Newton Grange. Aye, that's at the end of the month. Um, really looking forward to it, but we've got to focus on the league games before then. Yeah. You know, we'll have three games between now and then, um, and we're still competing in the League Cup as well. We're, we're a hard game there, so yeah. we, we, we can't really focus on the, the cup final yet. No, that's right. It's one for the fans to talk about. But you're quite right, one game at a time. One game at a time, we need to get points on the board and uh, take it for there. Good stuff, thank you. Hey guys, what are you called? Good stuff. And why have you not got a drum? You're not allowed one at night. Oh, that's a shame. You've got a ton of you, you can still be playing noise, eh? Yeah. Another interesting game, very, very similar to Dundonald Bluebell, who, who um, are sort of lower than they probably should be. Yep. Uh, I think Dunbar United are in that position as well. Some games are hand. Yep, I don't think it's because of their home pitch. I think it's for a few away games in that. Um, but we see that before them, they've got a lot to play for. They've still they've got yeah. a cup final to play for. They've got um, an arc cup that's sort of involved. So they've still got momentum behind them. They've still got a lot to play for. Um, whereas us, we're just right playing for building towards next season. Um, so I like you said, the games in hand and what have you. They'll, they'll look to try to get themselves in the top four because they're similar to us. If they go and finish top four, it's a good achievement for them as much as us. Yeah, but that'll give, uh, give you intended. You want to get as high as possible and you want to get higher than them by the don't you? Oh, you want to finish as possible, as high as you possibly can, no matter who it is. Um, but like I said, it just sort of sets you up for next season. I think that's where, in terms of league positions, I think that's where both teams want to sort of be for next season. Awesome. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> they say size doesn't matter. Oh, I think they're wrong. Well, you know, it's about capturing the action tonight, Norrie, and one of the few games uh, that are on in Scotland tonight. Oh, no, right. no need for two pitch inspections at Ainsley <laughs> Park. We have no. the carpet here. And, uh, you know, big shout out to any clubs who have got a bit of fixture congestion near the end of the season. Give me uh, Spartans Foundation a shout. Maybe get yourself a wee pitch to play on oh, uh, right. in, this, in these uh, rainy days. So there you go, there's kick-off. Such as in real in their usual yellow and black colours. And the bar United in their away.
from here to be honest. Oh, there's a ball through there. He just go, oh! There's a real chance here. I'll hurt you well. I'm good. <laughs> That's my job. Oh, 
show here. A big old Michel. First half, you had a good start then, didn't you? Yeah, we just like, we slipped up. Yeah. Slipped up. Slipped There's some good up. goals though. Yeah, good goals. <laughs> that, that goal, the fir their first goal was never in. I don't know. I think it's a lot of spec savers. You could yeah. tell, you could yeah. tell from there, could you? Yeah, but I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Oh, right. we'll actually come back and win 4-2. Four 4-2, two. Four two, right? Four two. There you go. Hey guys. Bye. What do you think of the first half so far? A uh, very enjoyable game. I'm a Dunbar supporter, so I'm happy we're 2-1 up. That's right. But the other lads are doing okay, but 
Let's go for the second half and some more goals. Yeah, had a bit of a slow start, though, eh? I mean, uh, Hutch with a better side for what, yeah, the first ten minutes. Yeah, some decent football, but we've got on top of things. You know, the first team do for the second half, they now uh, uh, certainly uh, bargaining. Uh, Hutch had a good start, a few good shots and goals. They eventually scored uh, they were on top. Then uh, <laughs> the bar came into it as the game went on. Q1 was the bar United. And there's the second half kicked off there. to get a copy someday.
Don't you hear? Don't you hear? Oh! Another corner, what is it?
That was a great result, Norrie. The conditions, these 22 guys who have been yeah. out in that park, exceptional to provide a game as entertaining as that in the 90 minutes. Five goals, entertaining game, they've done well. Even the wee guys, they're, they're great with their hunchy conga. Aye, that's and, and right. We, we can't get your conga, pal. We can get your raindrops keep falling on our head or singing in the rain. That's about it. We'll see you again, buddy. Good man, thank you. You're a lucky mascot, Broxburn. And here, two great away wins, Paul. Keep coming, keep coming. I'll feel that. Alfie, disappointed getting beat 3-2, but you'll be pleased with the performance, though, eh? Yeah. So what do you think of the... But it was unlucky. So who was your best player? Sean, number nine, the captain. Uh, you, you liked him, he played yeah. good, aye? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Right. Hey, Colin, I noticed you've got the drum back, but you yeah. can't bang it there now. Boys, well done. Yeah. Bye, so, bye, Tom. So what do you think of the game then? Yeah. Disappointed about the result, but we played good. We played good. But I'm disappointed about the result. Yeah. We could, we could have done better. Yeah. I think they're drum off us, so I'm very... Mind the weather had a, a, a part to play though, it was off the windy conditions, eh? Yeah. Right. But anyways, Mona Hutchins! Come on! Good lads. You'll be delighted with that wind in really difficult conditions today, eh? Aye, you know, it wasn't a classic. Um, conditions played a massive part in the game and just delighted to get to get through it uh, without playing well and, and picking up points. Yeah, he didn't have a... Uh, a great start. Hutchie really had uh, quite a few shots at goal, so the, the warning was there. You know, they were using, I think, the wind as well at an advantage, uh, yeah. and you had a slow start. We were, we were slow, and we, and we know that Hutchie start quick. You know, they, they scored a lot of early goals, yeah. um, and, and we warned the players about that, and, and they never took, you know, that warning. Um, you know, but after they scored, you know, that there's a long time to go. Yeah. Um, and we're always dangerous. You know, there's there's two fixtures we've not scored in the season. So but we're always dangerous. We're always capable of scoring goals. Probably fortunate uh, with the first one and potentially the second one as well. But I think we should have done a stonewall penalty before that. Yeah, I was speaking to some uh, fans of yours and, 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 and they were saying that half time, I Yeah. Aye, uh, but you know they're, they're the breaks. You know you didn't get the penalty, but you probably got a fortunate goal. You know the boys are saying that that one potentially was over the line the first yeah. one, and there was a wee bit off sight potentially for the second one. Yeah. But you know that that's football. There's, there's times a season where um, where we've been caught with, with decisions, and, and and we're fortunate to to get them tonight. Well, they think it's all over. It certainly isn't. He? Let's look at these three decisions, the three talking points everybody's talking about. First of all. Did that ball cross the line? Let's have a look. Right, that's at normal time, but I'll slow it down here. You watch it a couple of times. If you watch it there, the defender is about to head away. His actually back foot is in the goal mouth or the behind the line. If you watch it again, you'll see what I mean. Does that mean though the whole ball is behind the line as well? So certainly uh, it's, it's very close. But I wasn't watching uh, the linesman. If you watch there in that clip, you see the linesman making a beeline for the halfway line. The referee sees that and indicates that it's a goal. So it was the linesman that gave it. To be fair, he was the one guy that was right in line with that. So it was a difficult one. And there's a stall just as he was heading out there. Ugh, you just can't even tell. And was Dunbar's second goal offside? Uh, it wasn't offside when the free kick was taken. It was a wee flick on there. You see it when they slow it down. Just offside. And what about the penalty claim? Let's have a look at that. This is a difficult one. I wasn't looking at a penalty. I've had to slow it right down and look at it again. There's certainly some sort of contact there. It's very difficult to see it though. And I think just there... He, he, he sort of pushes him or uh, maybe even pulls his shirt or something. Enough to put him off anyway. And you can see the players looking there at the ref for a penalty. No. I think to be fair to Kevin Haynes, the Dumbarry right manager, he mentioned these incidents and he was talking about, well, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Uh, in fact, 
both sides felt decisions went against them. That's football, isn't it? And it was great seeing the ultras. I'm doing a separate video for the ultras, so look out for that. Plenty of footage of them. And Doogie from the Bar United was right to commend the players for performing in atrocious conditions. The start of the game wasn't too bad. It ended up a horrendous rain wind. Oh, what a... What a it didn't be the defender trying to defend with that rain and wind in your face. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. If you've not already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm getting a lot of good feedback, so thanks very much for that. Until the next time, I'll see you behind the goals.